My dad is a World War II veteran. He's a man who still gets tears in his eyes when he holds a baby. For 67 years, Merwin Baker has been married to Margaret, raising 11 kids, two dozen grandchildren. This is Merwin Baker's family, and he's a resident at Hope Creek. The Baker family so used to showing up in force that nine of them gather at Hope Creek Care Center. Good afternoon, Hope Creek Care Center. May I help you? The county-owned facility Merwin calls home. It was never our plan to allow... Let's give me a minute. <clears throat> my mom or my dad to go to a nursing home. Still, they call Hope Creek a blessing, as every day Margaret can visit and one of his kids puts him to bed. It's nice to kiss him goodnight and say goodbye, Dad. I love you. He said, I love you. It's hard to see him like he is, but he's treated so well, and that, that makes all the difference in the world. That quality care, though, comes at a cost for families and for Rock Island County itself. Right now, financially, it's a struggle. So we're going to go like that? Each day, Hope Creek is shortchanged nearly $9,000. Money the state is supposed to reimburse for the care of Medicaid residents like Merwin. We're not about the bottom line. We are about the care of the residents. Just slide right in the it's why in November, voters will be asked to raise the tax levy for Hope Creek, about a $50 increase in annual property taxes on a $100,000 home. If that referendum fails... And that could mean anywhere from a lease to a sale or to whatever. Uh, we would have a, a window of about 10 and a half months. Selling Hope Creek, it's an option the Bakers and county board members don't even want to consider. Yep, that one will go up. But just south of the Quad Cities in Alito, that very move. That was actually a very good thing. We got Swiss steak, creamy noodles, and California veggies. In 2013, Genesis Health System bought the Mercer County Nursing Home and Hospital from the county. And soon after we came on board, we were able to turn around the operations financially, move it from a loss to a, to a positive position. Immediately, Genesis began pouring nearly $12 million into renovations, while day-to-day -day operations stayed largely unchanged. As a rule, probably 95% of the employees chose to stay and wanted to stay, and we wanted them to stay because we have excellent employees. It's clearly a quality of care benefit. But Mercer County Board Member Ted Pappas admits the promised tax benefits are largely yet to be seen. It's going to take a number of years before some of those levied funds will actually uh, benefit the property tax owners. Still, he believes a similar sale might be what's best for Rock Island County. I don't think it's fair to the taxpayers to subsidize uh, Hope Creek. Warning that Hope Creek's business model is problematic. I think any standalone nursing home in the future has great storm clouds in, uh, ahead of it. As Genesis leaders agree that county-owned health care facilities are becoming a thing of the past. This is just uh, a business that uh, local governments probably shouldn't be in. There are arguments that Rock Island County Board Member Steve Mearsman has heard before. Until the private sector can prove to me that they'll take care of uh, these residents uh, the way they need to be taken care of, I will keep fight to keep the home open. Mearsman insists Hope Creek fills a need, often taking up to 65% Medicaid residents. Mercer County also has nearly 60%, but some private homes take far fewer. A for-profit home, the quality of care, I can't say is any better or any worse than that, but what can change is the payer mix. And that's exactly what worries Chris Baker. If the state assisted dad in finding another home, if this closed or if they leased it, where would they move him? It could be Galesburg, uh, it could be Peoria, and we couldn't be a part of his everyday life. And the Bakers say Hope Creek could soon mean as much to you as it does to them. Life changes on a dime, and it could, it could mean a lot to them if it happens to their family. It can happen any time, and they would need Hope Creek. And if it wasn't here, what then? What would they do? as they look for a way to keep Hope Creek afloat. In Rock Island County, Megan Noe, WQAD News 8.